<laughs> it, uh, it, it gives, oh, 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 it's pikelet. <laughs> Someone threw a perfectly good pikelet away. <laughs> Talking about the earth, Carl is going around the earth. Um, myself and Stephen have set Carl up with a dream job. Um, not only have we got him a TV programme on, um, on Sky, but he's gonna see the world. It came out of Carl not being impressed by anything and we, Steve had this idea and we've talked to the producers and we're basically sending him around seeing the seven wonders. Okay, the seven most amazing things on earth. According to polls and opinion, it's, it's a bit of fun. We know they might not be the most amazing things on earth, but um, if Carl finds all seven of them unimpressive and boring, there is something fundamentally wrong with him, we think. I've only done Egypt so far. And what do you think of it? They're probably the, the, the greatest and earliest so civilizations. Yeah, yeah like but they hang up on about that a lot. Well, yeah. And it's like, that's slowing them down, I think. Unlike the English, yeah. we don't drone on about our great past. No, no but we shouldn't. Yeah. I don't think we should. Carl, Move on. you go on about doing boxing when you turned up once and got battered by Leroy. Yeah, because you asked me about it. But right. the thing is, they're constantly, it's like they haven't moved on. Uh, everywhere you go, you see the Sphinx or a pyramid on right. something, and it builds it up too much, so that when you actually get there, you feel like you've seen it so many times that it doesn't impress you that much. But I like the, uh, you know, it's, it's different. I liked all the, you know, locals and stuff, and the way they are and that, and that's, that's oh, good, isn't it? Oh, are they? Just a uh, lot of old people. Yeah. A lot of old and the old and the young mix more than our, our lot do. Uh, there was only a couple of things that I didn't like and that was uh, the toilets. Toilets are pretty depressing. Sure. Why? What's up with them? Just, um, it's just a hole in the ground, isn't it? Right. And I, I like the toilet, it's sort of, you know, me time. And to mm. sort of go in one of them you don't want to hang around. It's yeah. sort of, you just want to do the job and get out but my insides don't work like that. <laughs> you like to sort of relax a bit. <laughs> uh, and you can't do that there because you've got flies whizzing round your head and uh, there was one time when we were out and about and I'd had a bit of hummus or something because that's you can't get away from all that mm. I'd been dipping my bread in it and I suddenly thought oh my belly feels funny mm. got to find a toilet cut through this market didn't know one was there but you sort of smell it it's like really? I'm getting close to one yeah it stinks <laughs> go in there's like, like a fella sat there really old he must have been about 93 about two teeth uh, sat there with a rag and you have to pay him to use the toilet. What's the rag for? He doesn't wipe your ass for you. I don't know. I don't know. But well, the, the, well, the toilet's never been cleaned by the looks of it. I had to give him like five Egyptian pounds, whatever that is. I don't know how much that is. But I don't know what he's doing for that money. Because the place has never seen a mop. So I go in there, open the door, and it's like one of them holes in the ground. I go, oh God, can't use that. Push the next door open, that's the same. Thing. Oh. Get to the end one, open it. Normal, normal toilet. All right. Ding dong. Brilliant. Sit down there, do what I do, look round, no toilet paper. Oh no. He's waving the rag over the top of the cubicle. Yeah. More money. Ten pound. <laughs> so I'm thinking, oh god, I'm thinking, can I just get up? Because it was quite a clean, you know, I, I thought- I <laughs> It was to... quite a clean drop, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking- Don't oh, they use water though? Don't they use water? Well they have a hose pipe, yeah. Yeah. But I didn't it? fancy that. Well, that's cleaner though, isn't it? A hose pipe. I really no, get a proper is it wash. Egg? Is it Why? Egg? How can it be? <laughs> Why? Because that's just gonna. That's that's not gonna clean it properly. It's gonna get rid of some bits, isn't it? It's like when you clean a car. Yeah, use a hose, but where's a sponge? <laughs> <laughs> sure. So. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so, oh you, God. you rinse just, off a plate, but then but you I always just, give a little wipe as exactly, well. Exactly, but I like it. That's when the bloke laughs on the door and goes, you need sponge? Yes. <laughs> so I'm in there, I look at the door, there's no handle on the door. So I'm, I'm trapped in there anyway. Someone's oh. nicked the handle. So I can't open the door. I'm sat there, there's no toilet paper. I'm calling, uh, I'm calling like the people I'm out there with. Yeah. They've got the phones off because we're meant to be filming. <clears throat> so I'm thinking, well, if I just wait, eventually they'll... They'll call. They'll panic, yeah. And uh, they did after about Hello? 20. Oh, it's Carl. What do you need? A handle and some toilet paper, please. <laughs> so they, they called up and they had to come down. That, they, that fella don't let you in unless you pay five Egyptians. So they and pay. they all had to pay five. I mean, I don't know why they all had to come in to see me. Like, it's, some, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a bit embarrassing. Going. Yeah. yeah. Did, you bring, yeah. did they bring you some toilet paper then? Um, no, th well, they got it from the, like, the fella with the... You oh, yeah, some. To, right? he had, you he should have paid for some right. on the way in. So I think yeah. that's what you do. But they, on, they don't give you a full a full roll, they give you like a strip. Right. Which I'm pretty wasteful with toilet paper. Mm, well, I prefer to do a good job, use it up, replace <laughs> it, rather yeah. than 
five sheets. I've never done that in my life. Right. Um, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> my brother taught me something. When he was in the army, he said you used to have to sort of put your hand through it, get it all, then use that paper to get it off your hand. What? When you're in the army, yeah. you're taught survival techniques. Right. And they said if you're a court with very little toilet paper. <laughs> it's a survival technique. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not like. Yeah. What did he die? <laughs> Died of a dirty arse. <laughs> no. uh, hold on, wait a minute. Right, what is this technique? You get the toilet paper. Right. Use two sheets. Right. Fold it over so you've got. Normally, to one sheet is two ply. You've right. got four ply. Right. So it's, a sort of, it's like a bog glove, a bog paper glove. Yeah, so you put your hand through it so you make a hole. Yeah. What do you mean? Make you a hole? Make a hole so your hand goes through it. Yeah. Then you can wipe your, wipe your arse with that. What, and with then, your hand? Yeah, and then the toilet paper that's left, you pull it off like that and you wipe your fingers with it. Well, so you've still got shit on your hand? <laughs> this is horrible! Yeah, why, don't you just wipe, why don't you just wipe your ass with the toilet paper? Because you've only got a couple of sheets because you're in the jungle, right? And it's survival. Oh, no, so, it's survival so, so what's the difference between wiping Maybe you your ass with your hand and trying to get shit off your hand, <laughs> or wiping your ass with the toilet paper and putting your fucking trousers up? <laughs> I don't know why this is a technique. That's some sort of mad sergeant's idea. Well, actually, boys, <laughs> is I like to smear shit all over my face and then use the one sheet of toilet to wash my face off. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense at all! Don't Should I suggest something for you? You like wiping your ass with your hand, you don't like paper and water, you like a sponge, one of those big foam hands that you see at sporting, <laughs> sporting events. events. So you just yeah. go in with that, like Kenny Everett, you go in there <laughs> with two big sponges, you sit down, you wipe your ass, you just leave yeah. them up, you just leave and them And you can cheer about it as you leave, <laughs> but everyone will know. Be careful with the giant sponge finger that it doesn't go up the arse <laughs> and cause damage. <laughs> that is a problem. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that's it in the last series of uh, the Ricky Gervais Guide Twos. Maybe the last guide to ever. Maybe the last audio book ever. Who knows? As you've seen, we've running out of ideas. Well, I've had enough. Yeah. Let's so, be well, yeah. Right. Well, I mean, that was about the environment, and we certainly recycled some old shit there. <laughs> <laughs> so it's goodbye for me, Ricky Gervais. Stephen Merchant. Bye. And the global village idiot that is Carl Pilkington. <laughs>